it's March again and welcome to Will and March's channel and in today's video we are going to or I'm going to discuss to you a very very sensitive topic and it's about my teeth yeah yes so you can see there's white gums and teeth on there so here we go before we continue, make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions, any question guys, please don't be afraid to comment below or just message me on um, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest, etc. So I have all those <laughs> social media, not TikTok. So anyway, so without further ado, let's go ahead and discuss about my teeth. So what actually really happened is I drink uh, milk out of a bottle until I was like seven. And I remember my sister even told like, mom, you, you, you gotta stop having her drink co uh, coffee, milk in a bottle. So they even faked the story that the nipple of the bottle got chewed out from uh, one of our dogs so here you go I don't have any more nipples from my bottle so I have to stop drinking milk in a bottle but in all of that my teeth became crooked my front teeth became so ugly and under I get underbite and also crossbite I believe it's because of the fact that my front teeth is so crooked that when you have kids, don't let them drink milk out of a bottle until it's not good. Because in between that, my milk teeth or my temporary teeth, this teeth is becoming crooked. So I've struggled with my teeth, how it looks like, how it's just how it looks like. So, and it's not even. It's not even rotten. There's not even a cavity in it. So when I was in thir uh, 13 years old, my mom decided to just go ahead and pull out all of my front teeth. And this is even after I wore a retainer that looks like a brace, retainer that has an adjustable uh, top. So because I have a little um, jaw, so they had to adjust it. I mean, all of that expenses, we should have just gotten a brace, but we could not afford braces for my teeth. So my parents decided to just, let's go ahead and just pull your front teeth, even though it's more, doesn't even have cavities. And I don't know, I still can remember when I, I was at my dentist's house, I think, and that's where she pulled all of my front teeth. I don't know if she, opposed to that I could not remember it was so long time ago so anyway after my four front teeth was pulled then she put dentures and all of my self-confidence self-esteem had gone down the drain um, I think I still have some left but since I was 14 years old I started wearing dentures and could you imagine with my first date first boyfriend that I had I had to kiss a guy and here I am I'm thinking oh my gosh I have my dentures it might come off I I, I could not explain to you how I feel when it comes to kissing a guy with your dentures on and of course I could not kiss this guy lip to lip and so he broke up with me I could not blame him but this whole reason the reason why I was telling him that I don't want to kiss him on the lips is because I might get pregnant yes really the reason why is because I'm wearing dentures it might come off while doing lip to lip French kiss with my boyfriend so um, I didn't really date anyone until I was college, but um, I'm cooking a turkey and uh, <laughs> it beeped on me, so I had to take care of it for a second. Um, so where were we? Um, I dated someone at our second term 
in college and uh, I think I became comfortable because he's one of my friends and uh, I consider him as my best friend um, I think I told him that I am wearing dentures and we joke about it so I feel comfortable that you know I told him but I'm still uh, kind of worry that you know he's gonna judge me for who I am because I have gen dentures but I told him the story so why I'm telling you about my teeth is I'm getting a new bridge so you know for all those years that I'm wearing dentures um, my my mom my parents decided for me to have a bridge and um, they felt so bad that <laughs> or my mom yeah, probably felt so bad that okay let's let's go ahead and um, take care of this and maybe you can have a bridge or a bridge is um, fake teeth or a crown that is hooked on to the real teeth that's why they call it a bridge because you know there's a foundation uh, from one end to another and then it creates like this bridge <laughs> That's why they call it a bridge. I'll show you uh, down below how it looks like and, um, and I'll also put on the description below. My first bridge when they install it or my dentist install it, I could not remember his name. He was pretty good. He knows that, you know, he doesn't want me to have a bridge that looks fake. He knows that he wanted to make it as real as possible. It's not my real teeth, but it looks real as possible so um he did that and it was pretty good um i wore that for at least 17 years and i decided to replace it with this one well by the way this first picture that i'm going to show you is the first bridge that i had and then the second one is the second bridge that i have which kind of a messed up bridge um i think with that bridge it changed my bite a little bit and uh but I didn't want to go to that dentist again because of the fact that he didn't really care about me. You know, all he cares about the money that I, you know, paid him. So now that I feel like something's wrong with my old bridge, my second bridge, um, which I only wore for four years. Now I think it's time to replace it. So I have a very, very good dentist. Uh, his name is Dr. Wong. If you're listening or watching, you know, thank you again for um, listening to me and all of my stories. Um, yeah, so he's going to install my new bridge. And what I'm wearing right now, which is so weird because there's no gum, nothing like that, that it's just white, is a temporary um, fitting. And um, you know, I wanted to show you, I wanted to show you the step-by-step -step procedure. I didn't really start uh, filming until I decided to, hey, you know, I'm already here in the dentist's office. Let me go ahead and start filming because this is very important to me. And I know it's probably going to be very important to all of you who's watching. So uh, I can't wait. And he's going to put uh a temporary bridge that has the pink gum and it's gonna look totally different from this one because you know the first and second teeth that I have I have a larger teeth you know it kind of put my uh, my my whole um, case um, case one case one case one means that your your upper jaw is a little bit protrude or forward than your lower jaw but in my case I have a case 3 which is a underbite and crossbite as well I think I just became crossbite is because of the fact that I had bridge and it doesn't really it didn't really correct anything uh, about my my case I'm still a case 3 and also when I was wearing the second or the first bridge I wore a brace so that way to correct my bite from being an underbite to becoming at least case two or a little bit of overbite. So uh, I can't wait. I just wanted to show you or to kind of give you a little bit of information about my story. I know there's a lot of people out there who is struggling because they have a little knowledge about 
teeth, you know, having either having implants or having bridge. And maybe you're probably going to question why am I not having a implant on my four front teeth. I, my teeth got pulled since I was 14. So, um, the bone structure that was holding my old teeth was already gone. It, it kind of vanished. So in times, um, past your gum will shrink and your bone that's holding your teeth will shrink as well. So known before I will not be able to have implants for four, four teeth and one teeth is like 3000 or $4,000 because they have to have like screw and then the teeth itself to, you know, look like a real teeth. But you know, I don't have any more gums to hold those implants. And um, the bridge is, you know, second best solution on having front teeth back again. <laughs> so, um, I, that's why I wanted to film this uh, very sensitive topic. Even though it's kind of embarrassing on my part, but I wanted to share to you uh, that there is hope there, out there for everyone that doesn't have any more front teeth and wouldn't wouldn't want to talk about it because they're so embarrassed um and so the next video i'm gonna have which is gonna be next week uh, i'll show you how the temporary looks like so um it will be a mix of that and also a mix of the whole process on how my my new bridge comes along or how my new bridge comes along or how my new bridge look so <laughs> it's kind of hard and talking in English sometimes so anyway thank you again for watching and uh, wait for my next video if you're really interested give it a thumbs up again if you have not subscribed please uh, subscribe in our channel our channel will go through about uh, cooking adventure with traveling eating your local eating your eating eating at your local favorite restaurant and etc so it's just a mixture of everything um we haven't found our niche yet so but thank you again for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>